Hello, hello, back again for some more Eye to Somnium file, Nirvana Initiative. It's your boy NPCC. No play, no games this time. <laughs> alright then, again, I'm hoping the audio is alright. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, it looks like I got my shit together. But now it looks like I want to squeeze a little bit more of the game in before I get to my shit today. Just woke up and yeah, figured I can get some more of this into like I'd say an hour, maybe an hour and a half. See how far I can get. That co appearance was like break. a dream come true. God of down. energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max. Wait, the Ferris wheel? I wish you luck with the investigation. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. The bed's 490 code. I solved it. That's yeah, so where I left off. Saw the code, now I'm at the robotics facility. Alright then. It's a flask. Alright then. Uh, let's see, how should I start? About this institute. Shakara, the director of the research institute. We mainly conduct research on gene therapy through genome editing here. Are you familiar with genome editing? Site-specific nucleases. An artificial restriction enzyme known as CRISPR-Cas9 is commonplace these days. Genome editing is a technique that uses this enzyme to splice, replace, and bind any base sequence of DNA. Beyond me too. I didn't understand that at all. <laughs> yeah, you are not alone. In other words, it's technology that rewrites DNA. Indeed. Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call URGE. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat. For example, severe congenital heart diseases, now curable. But that's not all. In theory, using Purge, even immortality is achievable. Yeah, all right. Mortality. Oh, but I don't mean your body will be invincible. The death can still occur via trauma, ingesting poison, viral infections, this sort of thing. However, it can make death due to old age a thing of the past. Can Purge really do that? Indeed, the body's deterioration due to aging can be prevented by rewriting all of its DNA. Maintaining a permanent state of youth. However, this has not yet been proven. It's still in its experimental stage. But it won't be long until our hypothesis is substantiated. He seems like the type of person to be the guinea pig, too. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for for thousands of years. It will soon become a reality. Remember, he's like 60 before I cut the part. What do you think? Isn't that wonderful? About Shen. I know of him, but I haven't met him in person. I've only read some articles about him online. He's the CEO of a music distribution company. I'm the director of a genetics research institute. Oh, and just saying, eh, I looked it over. It looks like my value was a little high. And OBS is, again, being picky as shit. So I was trying to lower the volume, all the volume of the game. Hope this is more of a better balance. Uh, at the least, let me raise on. In fact, let me try raising my mic a little bit up a little. Hope that helps things. I'll watch it over and hope that that sounds a lot more balanced. 
I don't want the game audio overwhelming me completely. <laughs> Not like I have anything completely special to say. But hey, if I'm gonna ramble, might as well hear the rambling, right? He's the CEO of the music distribution company. I am the director of the Genetics Research Institute. We have nothing in common. Right. About the QR video. Ah, uh, it was mentioned on the news. Uh, but the video itself wasn't broadcasted, so I haven't seen it. Then you don't know about Bats 490. What is that? It's a video that's very similar to the QR video. Right. I actually came here to ask you about it specifically. And that happens again. I've never heard of it. I actually came here to ask you about it specifically. There's a hidden code in the video, and I've heard it points to this research institute. I have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps someone just made it up. What are you doing around 6 a.m. on the night? Jim's estimated time of death. I was sleeping in my bed at home. They say seniors are early to rise, but uh, that's not true at all in my case. <laughs> Perhaps that means I'm still young. <laughs> Is there anyone who could back your story? Don't tell me I'm a suspect. Oh no. I'm just doing my job. Spoken like a cop. <sighs> I've always wanted to say that. Good for you. Your dream came true. I live alone now. Unfortunately, there's no one with me at home. Chikara got divorced six years ago. As for children, he has one daughter. She's 32 years old. His daughter and ex-wife are currently living in Italy. In other words, there's no one who can corroborate Chikara's alibi. That's right. Ryuki, don't you think something is off about Chikara? You think so? You really are dense. You're dense enough to be the target audience for mobile game ads! Wow. Huh. Mobile games can be fun most of the time, though. They take you to a page to try to force you to download a different game. It's kind of like advertising fraud. That's a nice way to put it. I would gear more to manipulative tactics. Looks like a grotesque monster might be trapped inside. I actually like grotesque things. Yeah, I know. Your heart is filled with dubious liquid. Excuse me, what is that statue? Ah, that's the symbol of our research philosophy here. It will take a while to explain, so perhaps another time. There's a mysterious statue inside the research institute for some reason. A uh, researcher wearing a typical protective garb. Guard, not guard. <laughs> it's early in the morning. <laughs> I uh, I might be seeing a little things a little off with the whole reading. Just woke up early and nothing else to do before I get ready to do my thing today. Yay for three day weekends. And I'm totally gonna be sleeping in after this. It's the door. And what's this? Hello? Huh, that thing. His temperature is abnormally high, isn't it? Why the fuck you lie? Maybe he has the flu. Why are you all Don't make lying? me pluck out your eyebrows from the inside. Do you think he's upset about something? Probably. 
Ryuki, let's find out if he's hiding something. Wink sink. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Wink sink. Wink sink is a simplified version of sinking. You can analyze the brain waves of the sink object of the sink subject temporarily look into the drain. Select Shikara with the cursor, choose Wink Sync icon to view a simplified version of the drain. That, is that an audio bug or something? That doesn't sound right. There's two... I think the audio from this is supposed to cancel out that audio. Dreams are made from memories. Was it supposed to sound like this? So there shouldn't be anything in there that he doesn't know about. You're saying... Chikara knows about Bax 490. He was lying to us earlier. Mr. Chikara, can you accompany me to the station? Wink Sync is the simpler version of sinking. From the eyeball, me, a strong magnetic wave is shot out to the sink subject. This temporarily numbs the subject's brain and puts their and puts their brain into a fox sleep state and induces a dream. By analyzing the faint brain waves emitted during this, we can see parts of the dream. It's not a clear image by any means. To investigate more thoroughly, a regular sink needs to be performed. A wink sink can only be performed once a day. Because of the high amount of power required, I would need to recharge before performing it again. Personally, I don't like it because of the power consumption. What? Why? I'd like to speak to you in more detail. You do have the right to decline, of course. Very well. I'll go with you. check something right quick uh, trying to make sure I didn't mute myself by mistake <laughs> I really don't want that happening again excuse me mm. could you go buy some soy sauce for me I thought I just heard something <laughs> ah you mean the cleaning lady oh it's just the cleaning lady and the locker wait what Any progress? 
us on the investigation. There hasn't been any progress yet. The people over at HQ are totally incompetent. They must have had stuff with fermented beans or something. About Shakara. I gave Chikara the usual medicine to put him to sleep. Are you sure that's okay? What do you mean? I mean, maybe there are legality issues. Oh, don't worry about that. The higher-ups will take care of it for me. Where is Mr. Date? Who knows? He went off somewhere right after you left. He's probably playing the nipple guessing game at some cabaret club in Nakamaguro right about now. He's on vacation, so I'm sure he's taking a load off while he can. No, he's taking a load off, all right. <laughs> Can't let that one go, can you? Why do you ask? I'm the engineer of Abyss. Of course I'm always here. Yeah, but I've been wondering about something. In November of last year... You were dishonorably discharged for reasons related to the new Cyclops serial killings, weren't you? Yeah. And if I remember, I might have mentioned this, and it might have been during the part where I was muted. Uh, if I remember, he was having an affair with... Uh, Mizuki's dad. You leaked internal police information. Not to mention you aided a criminal in his escape. Which led to that. I made some arrangements behind the scenes. Pewter is a crucial part of Abyss. I couldn't let them lock him up. You can do that? Normally, no. But in this case... Boss has dirt on members of the executive, judicial, and legislative branches of the government. I am truly grateful to you, boss. No need to thank me. You just need to be a good little workhorse. Oh, and it'd be great if you could introduce me to some good-looking studs while you're at it. I know about... Mm, a dozen. I bet you do. I'm counting on you. This is kind of scary. Uh, you get used to it. I got Thomas report. The QR video seems to be the key to solving this case. And she believes Chikara is linked to the Bats 490 video, which has a striking similarity. He's extremely suspicious. He must be the culprit. I think it's a bit early for that conclusion. But he said he didn't know about the video, right? If he's willing to lie about one thing, he's willing to lie about everything. I still think that's a bit unreasonable. In any case, shall we get started? Ryuki, you know what to do. Fine with me. I really like how they're handling the Somniums this time. I am not scared of it. I am not dreading this machine. <sighs> Have no problem setting this to easy for this. Ryuki, this isn't your first time sinking. You've delved into Somnia many times in the past six months. So, I'm sure you know without me telling you, but I can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. It's all right, I know. Okay then, let's begin. Hey, I find it amusing to just play around as Iva for a while. For, you know, having some breathing room to do that.
in, well, in this case, Tana, just make her do stupid shit. And I have to rest repeating what the whole damn place? thing. It looks like something made by an older generation of CG technology. Back when it was still hyped up as groundbreaking, huh? Did you see someone just now? Looks suspicious. Why don't we ask that person there about it? Who? You must have a lot of questions, like what happened to your other half? Not really. Must be hard to walk. Bench pressing must be tough too. You really want me to ask about that stuff? Yeah. Do it. But, hey, isn't benching kind of hard? Hey, why are you talking to a statue? Damn it, Ryuki. Stop wasting my time. We can only be insomnium for six minutes. Oh. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This is getting out of hand. That's Chikara. Tama, follow him. On this side, my genius left brain harnessing my processing power. On this side, my brilliant right brain within which my creativity is boundless. The very layout of this facility itself, mimicking my brain, will serve as inspiration for my masterpiece. What's going on here? I need to be careful. Can't get too close. Body's accidental biology. The bionic body creation program. Bio what? BBAB. The logical center of the left brain and the creative center of the right. By combining them, I can create a superhuman. How's he making uh, mannerisms like Hori and Kiyoma? No, oh, he ran off. Chikara in this dream world is just as bonkers as he is in real life. Looks like he doesn't want anyone in this room. Yeah, you can tell by the conscious antibody in front of the door. Conscious antibody? They're an embodiment of a sync subject's caution. When you try to access information that the sync E is trying to hide, it overstimulates the synapse. Hmm? That makes the body emit a ton of norepinephrine, which creates a conscious antibody within the somnium. Well, what does this conscious antibody do? You see how it says instant death on his crotch there? <laughs> if I touch him, a massive delay spike will occur in the sync information transfer system. Which means... Touch him and our available time insomnium drops like crazy. Got it. But how do we get into the room without getting past our do not touch power stance man friend here? Well, we just need to get rid of the conscious antibody somehow. What if we use that device that Chikara was using to move instant death power stance man? I'm sorry, instant death power stance man? Yeah, I thought that was a pretty appropriate name for him. Anyway. Let's check the device first. Looks like the power is out. Let's start by activating the device. Yeah, let's go. Somnium scan, activate! Hurry 
right how many locks this time. The secret Shakara's hiding. There was no doubt Shakara's hiding something. Open the door to expose what he is hiding. The lock on that door is open. Past that is a stone statue with no power. Power? On a stone statue? This is Shakara's Somnium. You don't have to think about the logic. Anyway, that door. Let's head past it to the stone statue. I think a scientist is doing but at least has some logic. Use the uh, use the blank, join the blank, and create a blank. Them death power stance man. This door is open. Is this even a door? It's so thin. That's just how it is in this world. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Oh, it moves sideways. We're here. That's the stone statue without power. Let's get closer and check it. Use the machine in the center. Join the two stone statues and create a trans candidate superhuman. Feels right, Tama. This game has no shame. <laughs> the robot arm control PC has been activated. All right, more death. Easy peasy. It's on. You're amazing, Tama. It says not available. Stone statue activated. Wait, so is it on or off? Maybe you need to flip the switches for all the statues. Right. According to the Somnium scan, there are multiple statues. But let's head back to the device first. How did you know there was a switch there? <laughs> How did you know? Let's go back to the device. Oh, wait. Can't we go to the other small room from this room? How would you do that? It's too high. I can't jump that. Your powers, you can blink to blink if you wanted to. We can go through here. Activating. In this experiment, 
ability. You can combine two different brains with different functions to create a new human life form. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. We just need to choose the left and right brain and combine them like Chikara did. What can we choose from? Left. Maasai warrior, fisherman, and a... Right side was astronaut and archaeologist. We can combine different brain functions of the left and right brains and create a new human with characteristics from both. It seemed like Chikara used that to gain some kind of power earlier. So creating a new human means gaining some kind of superhuman ability. And you select that power on this? Oh, I remember <laughs> seeing another room next to the small room we were in earlier. Yeah, it was too high, so I couldn't reach. Maybe we have to give you a power that'll help you get up there. Hmm. Worth a shot. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. The room was high and far. By combining two brain functions that'll allow us to move that distance. What do you choose, Ryuki? Please select right brain function. Maasai Warrior. Right. Astronaut selected. Starting experiment. Atmosphere piercing power of an astronaut to gain superhuman leg strength. Tama, you okay? I have goosebumps. It said you gained superhuman leg strength. Maybe we can get to that other room using that power. That might be it. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. This door isn't locked. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, ready. Wow. Transformation in the base sequence. This small change has allowed for surpassing the limit of telomeres. We can do anything in the simulation world. There are no limits. What a wonderful world. I guess things worked out. So every time we do something right, we have to watch this creepy old dude ascend into the sky? You want to join? Hell no. Alright. Hey, as long as I got more death. A stone statue without power. Activate it. <laughs> this stone statue is a racer. If they mean an autosport driver, those guys are incredibly skilled. They have to make split-second decisions. That skill might be beneficial in other areas than driving, too. Not to mention, there is a car right there. I see. You 
using the driving skill. But look, that says trap. Driving skill alone might not be enough. Maybe we can combine it with a brain function that's good at avoiding traps. I don't remember seeing anything like that. Anyway, let's head back to the central room. Progress. Super reaction by the person chat by blank. Six. No seven cents. Day. Who chose her as blank experience? It. This door is open. I wonder if we can go to the central room. Let's go find out. here. Looks like we can open it from this side now. Okay, so I can get back there from... Ryuki, you have five minutes left. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. The car from earlier. What to do about the trap? What do you think fits best? Please select right brain function. Okay. Left, racer. Right, archaeologist selected. Starting experiment. <laughs> Successful. Hope that works. Combine no, that a racer's driving skill and an archaeologist's knack for dodging traps. All right. Perfect. To gain movie protagonist superhuman driving skills. Guess it's time for love, Dr. Jones. That should help us dodge any traps. That's so antiquated. Nowadays, sports cars go up against nuclear submarines. This is Shikara's preference. Now let's go back to the room with the car. Think we can get there from the passage we came from? Yeah, I should lead you there directly. Now well, I can't jump there again. Not like this. We can go through here. Let's go. any traps with elegance and grace. One of the mini games look like this. Got what it was called though. I think it was in B3. Good time for a split second decision. Talk about Tokyo Drift. Ancient ruin. A theory that 
thinks this complex and bizarre passage is now complete. But this should be theoretically impossible. No, there is no impossible in this world. <clears throat> oh, this is not good. Not good indeed. Kara, ew! <laughs> Why don't you think of it as some kind of reward cutscene? The fact that I have to force myself to think that already makes it not a reward. Almost to our mental lock. Let's turn it on. Got it. That's one way to put it. Updated death. Lock two. Activate Gambler Stone Statue. statue is a gambler. I guess that means they have guts. So this gambler is known for winning bets when the chips are down. Oh, please. Considering the game, this isn't surprised and say balls. That must mean they can win the big ones without flinching. <laughs> now, let's head back to the center room. You can get a blank. Can can be blank by any person. We can go through here. Go. Didn't see that coming. It's me, Chikara. What the hell? This is no good. No good. No good at all. Yes, yes, yes. Now, let's test this. Selection. What? What's happening? The room flew away. The experiment worked. <laughs> Horatori has done it again! <gasps> Genetic ecstasy! Can he say this something right else? This brain selection is a function <laughs> that flows away my past. The past I don't want anyone to see. Yeah, my right brain else. can be shuffled back into the deck. Goodbye, forbidden memory! What are we gonna do? <laughs> when we drove through the passageway, Chikara said, Theoretically impossible and not good. So maybe we did something he wasn't expecting. If we use the device to combine two different brain functions, we might be able to find a way. If we could prevent Chikara from using his right brain reselection thing, we might be able to make it to the room. He said something about a memory he doesn't want to be seen. Hmm. Yeah, but. How will we stop Chikara? There was something hidden in the room we were in earlier. If only we could pull it back somehow. We need a big idea here. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. Fishing. Please select right brain function. Gambler. Left. Fisherman. Right. Gambler selected. Starting experiment. Oh, wait. Experiment six. 
successful. Combined, a tuna fisherman's pulling skill and a gambler's ability to make the right choice to obtain superhuman luck. Luck? Is this gonna do anything? Well, try it. Let's fish back the room that flew away. How's it going? I think I got something. That must be it. Reel it in. Oh, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Jakara's memory was replaced with something else. But it got replaced with another memory he didn't want seen. It might be worth looking into. Jakara said that if the Eternal Youth Experiment is successful, his memory will be discovered. So if we complete the research on that device... We might be able to defeat Instant Death Power Stance Man over there and get into the room he's guarding. stone statue is a little different. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Hmm. Almost. Just a little more. Is it a hell away from you? That stone statue has... Chikara's face hastily slapped on. Chikara said that using Purge, he can create an ageless and undying body. But if we use the stone statue... Turn it on. Oh no. <laughs> What's the problem? Seeing this face. Are you sure about turning it on? We've invested too much already. There's no other way. Fine, okay. Anything to advance. And wait, Shikara's stone statue. Cover Shikara secret. All right, final push. Oh, you didn't want to touch the crotch because of Shikara's face, huh? My theory is almost complete. The creator, the creator of a man who blank is blank. It would be nice to create eternal youth and life. And something that will let us get rid of instant death power stance man over there. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. Please select right brain function. Shaman, Left, N A. Right, Chikara selected. Starting experiment. Now. Hmm, wait, 
right, right. What should I do next? Uh, should I go to unlock the last one then? Hmm. I think I have a block here. I'm not sure how to proceed. Uh, well, time keeps clicking down. Better hurry up. Current ability is error. Just a normal human. Jump two, I already unlocked that one. We can go through here. Uh, let me think. Let me think. I think I might be a little lost here. How should I proceed? Lock those. I'm missing. Uh, am I missing a left one? From where now? Something I'm missing. We can go through. Right, the right one. Okay, was the. Okay, the race car one. Was we can there. go. I'm wasting time. <laughs> wait, wait, because I'm having some black here. I'm not thinking about it. Running out of time. Hold on. Just a regular human, so... And they wouldn't work. The person who's most obsessed with eternal youth and life is... Another function that'll allow us to deal with instant death power stance, man. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. Let me try. Fisherman, racer. Try to Please warrior. select right brain function. Debugger, shaman, shikara. Left, Maasai warrior. Right, shikara selected. Starting that. experiment. Well, not that, it'll be like War of Shaman or something. Nah, uh, that's. I think experiment that's stretching it. Successful. Combined, a Maasai warrior's battle skill and Chikara's genetic engineering knowledge to create an undying and unaging warrior. There we go. Funny that the machine is on a first name basis with Chikara. Now we can finally beat up instant death power stance, man. All right, let's go. Go, Tama. Let's go. Not working. Okay, that worked. He did it. The experiment worked. Oh, happy, happy, happy. Why should humans die? What a waste it is to perish. The research results are splendid. But now is not the time. Not now. Not now. If Chikar 
Stark gets in our way again, no amount of time is enough time. Let's go. All right then. Having some black there, I got through that. Oh. This stone statue is Jakara's memory that he doesn't want to be seen. Turn it on. Now, which one is this? A nine stone statue. Nine. Nine in Roman numerals. It always goes back to nine with these games. What is the significance of nine? You have no idea. Maybe he has nine mistresses. Or maybe he's being sued by nine people. The stone statue. Maybe we use a brain function again. Should we go back to the central device? Let's do it. Almost to the you finish line. You have three line. minutes left, Ryuki. Focus. We can go through here. So what do I combine nine with? Nine and debugger? There is no dash something. Let's see, my theory is almost complete. What if a man hit my kids? Did you decide what two brain functions you will combine? Yeah. This should do it. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. Die warrior. Very sure. Please select right brain function. Let me try NA with nine. Left NA. Right nine selected. Starting experiment. This again. What? Why? Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Experiment successful. Nice at loss. NA and nine. Nice. nice. I was talking about. Unsettling, <laughs> especially with the Valium. Okay, I got through it. Curious what would happen with Warrior and Fisherman. I am the president of the Japanese Nizet Laws branch, Tokiko Shigure. Tokiko. Wasn't this... Wait, was this Masuki's mother? I apologize for visiting so late Shigure. at night. Shigure. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. No, Shigure. No, no. Oh, Kira was her last name. What? That was her mother's last name. Mr. Ryuki, is it? Mamoru, my secretary, has already informed me. Shigure. Whose name was that again? 
I hear you've come to ask about Jin Furaway's murder. This is the president's office on the top floor of the building, containing the Japanese branch of Nice Alts, commonly known as Nice. When I synced with Shakara earlier, Tom and I saw something in the Somnium. Someone who looked like they were in Nice was making the Bats 490 video. That's why we ended up here. We come to the president's office to talk to the top level of Nazis. Alright, it's not how you pronounce it. Why would they make something like this indoors? Who knows? Has they booty? Uh, now let's see. There are lights hanging from the ceiling. Okay then. of the nice Japan. I had a very hard time finding the place. After all, Nice is a secret organization hidden from the public. That's a good thing Boss just happened to know someone who knew this location. Otherwise, we would have been out of luck. <laughs> Even after I got inside the building, it wasn't easy. The guards, the security gates. If I hadn't met Mamoru at the entrance, I probably wouldn't even have made it to this office. I know about Abyss, and I know it's trustworthy. That's why I let you through to talk to the President. <laughs> yeah, but I'm also her bodyguard. I used to be a bodyguard for a certain politician until the end of last year. He was a piece of human garbage. I imagine he's talking about Seidel's dad. Slugged him in the face and resigned. Then ended up here thanks to an acquaintance introducing me. I was only hired recently. I don't know much about it, really. Something funny. Oh, come on, that's the type of shit I do. There, I said it. Heat of the moment thing, but I ended up quitting my job. I don't regret punching that scumbag, but hmm, what am I going to do now? I've got ten children to think about. What? A job? With the conditions I requested? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do anything, as long as it's not illegal. But you work for his father. Right. Well, I guess he had enough of that. Your badge. That's something <laughs> phony. What is this? A vaudeville routine? <laughs> that wasn't funny at all. No one will pass up taking shots at her. <laughs> anyway, I was surprised. I had heard of Nice, the secret organization, but I thought it was just an urban legend. I can't believe it actually exists. Yes, there has been all sorts of gossip about us. Some claim we're a secret society of Satanists, or that we have something to do with a sequence of binary code that came from space. But that's all nonsense. Made-up stories that become more and more embellished as they were passed on. Rumors are quite a terrifying thing. Nyes is a perfectly legitimate ideological society. Our headquarters are located in New York, with many branches in cities throughout the world. This is one such branch. This is an ideological society. This is a common misconception, but Nyes is not a religious organization. 
Yeah, because you did sound like a cult. We are a group of like-minded individuals who act together based on a certain understanding of the universe. Yeah, that sounds like a cult. And that is? The simulation theory. Have you heard of it? That the world is an artificial simulation of reality created by someone or something. That's the theory. You're saying everything in this world we're living in isn't real? Yes. It's a false world constructed with specific rules by a program. And if it is made by a program, there must by necessity be imperfections, edges, or seams. To find these seams, or to create them, is our objective. Why would you do that? If you tear at the seams of a cloth, it will unravel, and the whole will be created. Don't you open up Pandora's box then? Thusly, we will tear at the seams of the program until it is unraveled, and its people are emancipated. That is our ultimate goal. Maybe it's been sometimes it's better not knowing something. This old hag has completely lost it. The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the scene can occur. I don't understand. You will someday. It is a prophecy. It will be fulfilled eventually. What is that? It's a hand sign we use. It's meant to resemble the sign behind me. Oh. Hand signs for screen. Hey, right, can I do that? Curious if I could make that. Considering the fact that you are here, I assume it would be pointless to hide it. Indeed, I had my subordinates create that video. Bats 490 was an ARG, just a game, but there was a high level encryption hiding a message within. We have been seeking high IQ individuals with the capability to decode it. The purpose was to recruit them into Nyes. So this QR video was made for the same reason? I am aware of that video. I saw it on the news. However, it's completely unrelated to Nyes. I assume someone made it with the intent to imitate Bats 490. Wait, wait, wait. Not even as It's completely unrelated to Nyes. What do you think, Tama? Hmm... Hard to say on that alone. Do you mean the man from Horadori Institute of Genetics? So you do know him. I'm actually here because of a tip I got from him. Shikara <laughs> is under arrest? At the mine, right, Bingham? No, he was just released earlier. We didn't have enough evidence to keep him detained. I see. Shikara is a former member of Nyes. Of course he is. Though this was over 20 years ago. I think that'd be enough for the crazy to wear off. When he left us, he became an avid believer in the Order of Percent. Order of Percent? It's an organization that split off from Nyes. You could say they are a sect. The Order of Percent is a religious sect, whereas we are an ideological society. Right. Despite our common roots, we are heading in completely different directions. Then how did Chikara know that Nyes created Bats 490? I wouldn't know about that. 
Perhaps he asked an acquaintance from Nyes. Yeah, he probably still had connections. What were you doing around 6 a.m. on the 9th? Judging by the way you asked that, I assume that's Jin's estimated time of death? Well, yes. I was in Okinawa from the night of the 8th. I had a seminar to attend on the 9th and 10th. I returned to Tokyo late last night. I checked the logs for hotels and airports, for smartphone access points, and the security footage for each location. It's true that Tokiko was in Okinawa from the 8th to the 10th. So she has an alibi. Uh -huh. As long as you presume Jin's body wasn't brought back with her from Okinawa. That's the Nanyapul X, the symbol of nines. Nanyapul means consisting of nine. Back to nine again. You know how they're single, double, triple? Nanyapul is the ninth. So, Nanyupal X means nine X's? Hmm. Same sound. Nanyupal. Did you know that Nyes at Laws is derived from nine X at Laws English? Hmm. Nyes at Laws. Laws English referring to a diamond shape. In other words, Nyes at Laws means the nine mm -hmm. X's of the diamond. By the way, would you mind if I asked you a question? What is it? Are you, perhaps, a frayer? Frayer? Fray, Fray, I thought I heard that somewhere. It was on a sign. I am asking the person within you. What? I will ask you one more time. Are you a frayer? I see. Then I must have been mistaken. What is a frayer? Fray. Fray. Right. I remember now. It was written on that sign. Fray to free. Free can mean fight, but it can also mean to wear out or tear. Remember what Tokiko said. Their ultimate goal is to break down this world and emancipate its people. Wait a second. I can ask me to. Yes, tear. Miss Shigure. Are you sure Nyes didn't make the QR video? We did not. But the word Frey was written on that sign in the QR code. That is a connection. We of Nyes are only involved in Bats 490, which we created half a year ago. We are not the ones who created the QR video. The word Frey being displayed on that sign must be a coincidence. That can't be just a coincidence! Oh, but it can. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. <laughs> a false world created by a program. And such programs always have some glitches lurking under the surface. We call such glitches, scenes. Coincidences like this are a manifestation of such glitches. Proof of imperfection. Proof of the scenes. The appearance of Jin's corpse is also likely to be an example of such phenomenon. Yeah, that sounds like nut jobs reaching. What? 
Are you familiar with the Philadelphia experiment? It's a top secret military experiment that's said to have taken place in the American city of Philadelphia on October 28th, 1943. A powerful electromagnetic wave was fired towards the USS Eldridge, a destroyer class warship. Supposedly, the reason for doing this was to conceal the ship from showing up on radar. But as soon as the experiment began, something strange happened. The Eldridge was enshrouded in a greenish mist, then vanished. Wait, I'm looking that shit up. Afterward, it appeared at a military port in Norfolk, nearly 200 miles away from the shipyard in Philadelphia. Some time later, it reappeared in its original position again. So you're saying it teleported? Well, it's nothing but an urban legend. Just an occult story with real credibility. Okay. Yes, exactly. However, the story doesn't end there. When the USS Eldridge returned to Philadelphia, there were several sailors on board, but some of them had melted like a rotten banana, while others ended up with their bodies entirely burned and blackened. Uh, is that like inspiration for Steins Gate? That's another reference to that. I think the writer's taking inspiration from Steingate. And whatever, Steinsgate, that was Steinsgate inspiration. For their time, the way they do time travel. But this is teleportation. Is that a similar concept? In some way? Like one of these? Others were said to have merged with the steel hull, their bodies having become a piece of the ship. Does that sound familiar? You mean Jin? Mm -hmm. Are you saying his right half teleported here? It isn't impossible. If a seam was torn, that is. Impossible. That is a trip. You like this park, don't you, Ryuki? I feel calm when I'm around nature. It's like I can feel the buzz inside me quieting down. Tama, what do you think about what Tokiko said earlier? Is something like teleportation really possible? Uh, hey, come on. I told you the Philadelphia experiment is just an urban legend. How else can you explain what happened with Jin? We can't deny that his right half suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Jeez. Oh, then why don't we find out for ourselves? What do you mean? You want to go to the studio right now? No need. Just close your eyes. My eyes? Just do it! Huh. Uh, okay. Teleport here? Are you serious? We're in Studio Devita, aren't we? It just seems that way. We're not actually there. Last night, I scanned every nook and cranny of the scene. What you're looking at now is what I replicated using that data. Wow. It's like I'm actually there. The corpse looks so real. Want me to put a mosaic over it? Uncensored is fine. 
Now, less digressing and more investigating. Your objective is to solve the mystery behind the sudden appearance of Jin's right hat. All right, let's start looking around. Virtual mm -hmm. reality activation. The VR allows you to walk around the scene and gather information. Uh, I missed something. Which mode? By changing the special mode, what you can expect will change. Utilize this device. Hidden information. Alright then. Seems like a great place to stop. So. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm really into this. I couldn't. Even, I know. I was like, I wasn't even talking much at one point. I was just so into it, trying to take in all the information and trying to piece it together little by little. Something might have escaped me. I think it all. You know, you're gonna have that moment, and then I'm still suspicious of like this Chekhov's guns in games like this. Like, the littlest thing they said is probably going to come back in a big way later. I don't consider anything that anybody says is inconsequential. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching with me. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been NPCC. Have a good one.